everyone. How are you doing? <laughs> All right, so I am here for 10 minutes to talk a little bit about time series analysis in Grafana. So who am I? I am Alex, I do software. This is my GitHub, please follow me on Twitter. Um, I've been with Grafana for the last two years, and I founded a company called Corp Glory, and so I do some kind of consulting for companies uh, who build their solutions based on Grafana. All right, and uh, you maybe know me because I have uh, got the idea to pack your plugins uh, into one bundle uh, and made this nice thing. All right, so about the project. One year ago, I decided to go to the hackathon with uh, my friends in Russia, <laughs> to Gazprom. And uh, I, called Daniel, uh, I called Daniel Lee, are you here? All right, uh, and I said, all right, I want to play with uh, time series data. Can you tell me uh, what is the most interesting thing I can do? He said, you can try to solve false positive problem. Good luck with that. Nobody did it yet. All right. Um, I, s uh, I, I took uh, Grafana as basis. And uh, you have two nice things in Grafana. You can visualize pretty much everything, and uh, you have data sources which you can query. All right, so let's take it. And now we want to detect patterns. Just a simple task. You have one pattern which looks like a spike and another, and you want to distinguish them. So one is a Instagram post, and another is a backup, and you want to distinguish them. You're interested only in one of them. So it's not the only the only pattern you can imagine. It's, it could be very different, and you want to detect all of them. Um, all right, so the Hastic. So it is a application which consists of two parts. It's a Python app with plus Node.js and an app for Grafana. And it is very light. App. So it is a dashboard. Look at this. It's, you, d you just have a metric, and you can label a pattern there. And then you send it to something, and you get predictions. So each time you get uh, this pattern, you would get uh, an alert. If the detection is false, then you can label it. And so then you train the system not to, to detect this pattern. All right, so the server. Uh, I just said to you about the app in Grafana where you label everything. And so this is the server. The, this Node.js Python app and, uh, and webhooks, the most interesting things. <laughs> uh, somehow you query Grafana to get the metrics. Uh, this is a library uh, which makes you able to query Grafana ends. That's it. This is what you can do this. All right. Uh, their ideas. So we we just want to make it a tool which can solve this small problem, false positive. We cannot uh, make a m of all math for this, but we can make a tool which makes you able to be more productive with dealing with this with this kind of things. Um, uh, last year we spent only uh, to make in the, uh, to make it uh, stable. And uh, we want to make a small feature which works. All right. Uh, maybe there are anyone who was on Manitrama in Amsterdam last year. All right. So from that moment, we uh, made a lot of things. Most interesting that we started to support a lot of databases, like all of these. Uh, super feature threshold detector. And... Uh, and we um, uh, played a lot with uh, that Python process. We parallelized this all learning. And you can learn a lot of uh, models at the same time. Um, and you can in install it on uh, CentOS with RPM. Uh, and so this is the day when we released beta. After one year of development, this is the day. Hey, 
and you can download it now. It's stable now. You can download it right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so why I said that it is a platform? Uh, Grafana is a platform. Let's build another one. So this platform is a platform which you makes you able to create your detectors to, to uh, detect, uh, for example, anomalies. You can make your static mo statistics model on Python. I can show you. Oops. So, uh, so I, as I said, it's uh, just I haven't planned to do this. Uh, it's uh, just two pieces. The analytics, it's a pure Python thing. Uh, this is analytics. And uh, you can see all models there. And uh, based on these models, you, you can uh, you can you can you can use every, pretty much everything. You can put TensorFlow there if you want. So the idea is that we make a tool where you can process time series data, and so and send your uh, detect detection back to UI. All right, and you can make your plugin which uses API. For example, you want uh, to detect uh, anomalies in text or uh, geospatial data. You can make a plugin and send uh, data to your detector. All right. Uh, we want to make a product would be and uh, offer you to host uh, Hastic. We can host, we can uh, host uh, Hastic for you and uh, install Hastic for your infrastructure and to uh, integrate to your product. Um, now a lot of thanks to Grafana Labs. Thank you guys a lot. Uh, American co Consulate, I get my visa to US yesterday. Uh, my, my team, thank you guys. They work hard to make this release uh, better today. My girlfriend, this is her Instagram. Monitorama, thanks a lot Monitorama. Please consider to go to Monitorama this year in Portland. Thank you, guys. Uh, Jason, I, I hope you see it. Uh, and uh, adopters, we have uh, four companies uh, uh, and they tested uh, test Hastic. Please uh, test Hastic and we, uh, we, I will personally work with, with your case because we have only four cases real. Thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs>